Hi everybody, it's Tammy with Gare. Today I'm going to show you a few of my favorite painting tips to do with sponges. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, come around. Come around. Okay, so the first tip I'm going to show you is how to make a slide rim around your plate. Just take the color you're choosing, which right now I'm going to use Anchors Away. And I just take the soft rounded part of my sponge and I dip it in the paint. And I just dab it off a little on my plate. And then you're just gonna hold it on the side and you're just gonna wipe it around the edge. And dip it back in again. So this will give you a pretty even look and it does only give you one coat because if you were going to put on a second coat with the sponge it would probably pull off some of the first coat. So it's a nice look if you want just one coat. The other thing I do if I want it to have a more solid look is I'll do this first and then it gives me a guide to go back in and paint two more coats if I want to add another coat to make it thicker. I have a nice even guide to go by so I can get a nice solid look if I want to by putting on two more coats. But that's a great tip for a sponge. Okay, so now this is tip number two. We'll use the same sponge. I like to work with the smaller ones. You can, instead of sliding the sponge, you can just tap it gently around the edge and you can get a pretty even look. You can make a nice thin edge or you can make it a little bit thicker. By just bringing the paint down a little bit onto the plate. So that gives it a nice rustic look as opposed to a nice clean line. Okay. So tip number three, I'm going to show you how to paint the inside rim of a mug with a sponge. So I like to use these little quarter side sponges because they fit inside the rim easier. Like this mug has a really narrow opening and these work really well for that. So you would just dip your sponge in and I use the sharp edge here and you would just start to go around. Ooh, filming action. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a sponge with a different color and just lightly go around the rim of the top of it. And you can see how pretty that is. And I didn't even need to use a paintbrush. It was really simple. Okay. So tip number four, this is my favorite. This is what I use the sponge for most of all. People are always asking us how we get three solid coats on pieces without any streak marks from the brushes. It's because we usually use a sponge. We'll put two coats on with a brush and then the third coat we sponge on. You could also sponge the first coat and then do two coats with a brush. But one of the coats are with the sponge and that will just ensure that you don't have any streak marks. So that's what we use this for the most. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. You're just going to take the sponge, use the soft side, the back side of it, to sponge on the third coat. Just keep in mind when you're sponging like this, Move any other pieces that you're working on out of the way because very tiny pieces of paint can splatter. Even if you're doing it really slow, sometimes that can happen. So just be mindful of the pieces around you and get them out of the way and just be careful when you're doing it. So when you sponge on the third coat, you will have kind of a textured look, but when you fire it, it will fire evenly. Okay, so tip number five is that they're great for cleaning up messes. So you can just take it and if you don't like a spot, you can just clean it up or you can just wipe it off and start over again. 
And this is why I love the sponge so much because there are so many different things that you can do with it. Okay, so I think a lot of people already know this, but I do run into people who don't. So while we're doing this, I just thought I'd go over it one more time. The way you do a stamp is to use the back of a sponge. You just dip it in the paint and you lightly dab it on the stamp and then it will come out really well. And you see you don't have any globs or clumpy paints. It's a perfect little frog. So last but not least is the stencils. We use the back of a sponge for a stencil as well and it works the same way. You just dip it in the paint, make sure there's not too much on there, dab it off a bit and you can just stencil with the back of the sponge. And you can see, it'll give you a nice stencil look. So those were some fast and easy tips. I hope you enjoyed them and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> I did it a minute ago. Let's get started, that doesn't sound nice. That's my lip. So I am listening. Today I'm gonna show you yeah. almost fell in my favorite. You know? I, I, I don't know. Let's see. No. Not just any tip. My face. So these, my favorite thing to do with these, are stick them in my ears and. I don't want to listen to anyone at work. <laughs>